at number 5. The Ballad of Jack and Rose, 2005. I'm getting freckles. I always had those. Jack Slavin is an environmentalist with a heart condition who lives with his daughter, Rose, on an isolated island. While Jack fights against developers who wish to build in the area, he also craves more contact with other people. When he invites his girlfriend, Kathleen, and her sons, Rodney and Thaddeus, to move in, Rose is upset. The complicated family dynamics makes things difficult for everyone in the house. How long will you stay here? Not very long, personally. Number 4. Schneeland, 2005. Elizabeth, a woman who had lost her husband in a car crash, and wants to leave her three young children, to join him in death by wandering, out into the snowy deserts of Lapland. As she wanders through the snow, Elizabeth discovers the story of Aaron and Ina, a couple who overcame dark secrets, and over controlling family members to be with each other. Number 3. Liebskind, 2005. One day 17-year-old Alma sees her father, who had left the family five years before, and had never contacted them since then, accidentally on a subway stop in Berlin. She finds his job, makes contact with him, and starts to spend time with him. Soon the feelings of both go beyond a father-daughter relationship. They begin to feel appetite attracted to each other. Number 2. Don't Tell, 2005. Sabina has a regular life. She is satisfied with her job and her love for Franco, but nightmares start disturbing her at almost the same time she discovers that she's pregnant. Little by little she remembers her childhood in a severe middle-class family, but a big secret is still hidden in her heart. Determined to bring clarity and serenity to her life, she considers contacting her brother, a university teacher in the USA, to try to understand what happened in their past. Number 1. The Quiet, 2005. Following the death of her father, a teenage Dot moves into the home of her godparents and their teenage daughter Nina. Dot arrives wrapped up in the silence of being deaf. She finds a different kind of silence waiting for her in her new home, for this home is a place with a dark secret involving Nina and her father. At first, Dot and Nina seem to be polar opposites. However, they gradually realize how much they have in common. Bringing them together catalyzes a series of events in which both reveal their secrets and shed their double lives. A violent consummation almost destroys them. Yet they find hope for the future in the quiet after the storm.